Today I'm watching a football match in Paisley between St Mirren and Aberdeen. And as I literally just said, it's in Paisley. So why aren't the home team St Mirren called Paisley United or Paisley Town or Paisley Rovers or Paisley Wanderers or Paisley Athletic? Well, it has something to do with this place. As you can see, we are in the beautiful grounds of St Mirren's Cathedral and you can see there look it's St Mirren M-I-R-I-N St Mirren the football team are M-I-R-R-E-N so spelt slightly differently but essentially St Mirren was a Catholic monk or a missionary from Ireland he is the patron saint of the town of Paisley and uh, he is the founder of the religious community uh, which grew here in the town he was born around 560 AD so uh, all that stuff about uh, St Mirren coming to Paisley and bringing his religious works with him are from 1,500 years ago and that is why the football team to this day are called St Mirren and not Paisley FC. Now this building does look fairly new and there are like parish halls and other parts of this entire little area just around there that are obviously used for certain things. I think there's like some kind of yoga class going on in there just now, but um, as you can see from up there, it says 1808. I don't know if that's when this would maybe have been built, but there is also one up here which says, just bear with me, which says 1930. So I don't know if it was restored, because this looks very new. I'm not sure if this is like a newer, like religious building here for, in memory of St. Mirren, I'm not sure. I'm sure people will uh, correct me in the comments, but there are a lot more uh, religious sites here in Paisley. I think there's an abbey and another cathedral or something along those lines. There is like a big spire for one just through there that you may be able to pick out. But um, yeah, really religious place apparently, Paisley, and uh, so well linked with the football club. And speaking of said football club, Kieran and Kieran Chambers. Lovely to meet you both. Two big St. Mirren fans, is that right? Yeah. How has the season been going for you boys? Mm, it's been okay. Okay, you're ninth, I think, at the moment. Yeah. Are you uh, worried about playing Aberdeen tonight? Do you think you can get a result? I think we can get the result. What do you think the score's going to be? 2-1-2-1. Uh, two one, two one. You one said? Aberdeen. <gasps> one new Aberdeen. You think Aberdeen are going to win? What do you think about that? No. I He's wrong, isn't he? Yeah. Matthew. You. Kieran. Nice to meet you all, lads. All big. St Mirren fans, uh, well, most of you are, you're uh, slightly a St Mirren <laughs> fan. Um, what do you think the score's going to be today? 2 on one. 2 on one. It's going to be tough. 1 each maybe. And I've never been to a game here before, should the atmosphere be pretty good uh, do you think? Uh, you, should, you should be expected to have a good atmosphere. Not nice, we'll do it right lads, enjoy the game. There's not a huge amount to see and do outside of the stadium. As you can tell, fairly new and modern. They used to play at a, a stadium called Love Street. I've made a couple of St Mirren related videos before, um, so I'll link them in the description box below if you haven't seen them before and you're a St Mirren fan. I'll go into the history of St Mirren and stuff like that. And uh, they actually, yeah, like I say, had a classic old ground called Love Street, not far away from here. They are the only club to have sacked Sir Alex Ferguson as well. But like I say, there isn't a huge amount to see right here outside of the stadium, um, which is why I took you to uh, St. Mirren's um, Cathedral or Abbey or church sort of thing earlier. But yeah, met some lads around the front who are subscribers as well. So uh, massive thank you to them. You'd have seen them on the videos. So absolute top boys and cannot wait to see the atmosphere today. There should be a uh, display for the supporters group that is here. I think they're called the North Bank and oh, he actually might be setting up the like typho sort of thing over there. But yeah, there should be a display for them today. They are celebrating their fifth anniversary. And I think I'm going to be in and around and amongst that act so really looking forward to it here. Game under the lights in the Scottish Prem. Can't beat it. St Mirren, how have they been getting on this season? Uh, yeah, alright. Uh, no bad, but 
Could be doing a lot better. Lower to mid table, but there's yeah. a lot of teams that are worse off than you, yeah. I suppose. And uh, today, Aberdeen, worried about having them here or? Uh, not really. Um, if we could get a point against them, that would be great for them. But... Um, what do you think's going to be then? One each. We've got Ryan and Jamie, two big St. Mirren fans. Yeah. How's the season been going? Oh, oh, okay. Nice. And what do you think the score's going to be? 2 1 to 1. 3 2 St. How should the atmosphere be here today? Look at that already. That's class. Uh, score prediction? 3 1 to 1. Oh, big goals. A lot of goals. 3 2 1. Nice lads. Enjoy. Enjoy. Nice to meet you, boys. So this is what I was talking about, this is this supporter group here, it's their fifth year anniversary since they've kind of started up bringing the atmosphere here to St Mirren. Great to see supporters groups like this up and down the country and look at that, bringing a great atmosphere here, the Aberdeen fans over there and the St Mirren fans making all the noise. What do you think the score's going to be today? I think it'll be 2-0 St Mirren. 2-0 St Mirren, nice and joy, man. you could say. Right, so think of the team that you support, then think of the, your favourite player in that team, then think about the team that you hate the most. That player that you just thought of from your favourite team will go to the team you hate the most once their contract is up for free if you don't hit that like button. That's what I've heard. You also have to subscribe for that not to happen as well, so like and subscribe for that not to happen to your favourite player. towards the ref there, the Saints fans wanted a yellow card for a tough tackle on one of their players, but that's about the most exciting thing that's happened in this game, and Aberdeen taking a shot that almost went in from 30 yards, but apart from that, not a lot's happened. So many games I come to a nil-nil at half-time, we're approaching half-time, and it looks like this one probably will be nil-nil at half-time, unless, unless the buddies can jinx me here. Go on, buddies, jinx me. How have you enjoyed the game so far? Yeah, it's good. Good, you've enjoyed it. It's nil nil, but no, what, no. what do you think St. Mirren have got to do to sort of improve in the second uh, half? Make them save. Score a goal 
Score goal, yeah, exactly. So um, I'll go from here and I'll go all the way around there. I'll get all your score predictions. So what do you reckon? 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. 2-0. Two 2-1. Nil. Two nil. Two one. Two one. Two one. I have one each. All to, so all the ones who are saying a win, you mean St Mirren? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Yourself? 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. Uh, 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. And 2-0. You said 2-0. Yeah. Job for me, nice one. Cheers, <laughs> Lewis. What a legend! Look, he's given me a scarf, mate. Absolute hero. Thank you so much. Oh,